waving. <laughs> just waving, smiling. Hi, Hi, Amber. Thanks for coming and showing up on the show. We can't wait to hear your music. Thank you, CJ. <laughs> you look incredible. Oh, you're funny. <laughs> And that was Spoon, written in reverse at 717 on 1999.3 and 1440 KVON. That kind of caught me unawares. That's because right now we're not going to give away Gavin DeGraw. Instead, we have our Musical Monday guest, and I'm very pleased to introduce you to Amber Snyder. Thanks for coming on in, Amber. Hi, thanks for having me. Good morning. Good morning. So it's a little bit early, and your voice is a little bit soft, but I'm sure it's not when we're going to hear you sing. Why don't you tell <laughs> us just a little bit about yourself? I guess you've been on the show before. It's been about a year. Yeah, I've been on here uh, before, and it's been over a year. And um, So yeah. remind us who you are and okay. uh, what you do. Great. Well, um, I've been kicking around Napa for about 10 years playing music. Um, I went to high school here in, in, at Vintage and actually was Amber Estrada. Got married two years ago and changed my name so mm -hmm. it was a little bit sort of like being in the witness protection program. <laughs> Nobody knows who I am anymore. You decided not to stay with your your original name yeah. for your performance. That's that's really nice. Well I didn't want to do the hyphen because it, to me it, it seemed like it would be really long. Right. Amber Estrada Snyder. Uh-huh. Sure. Da, 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 da. Yeah. <laughs> so now people are getting to know you as Amber Snyder. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what kind of music do you do you uh, perform? Do you play? You write and sing? Yes. Okay. I'm, uh, I do folk rock, blues, and country. I like to say, and mm -hmm. affectionately coined it Ambericana, just because. What's Ambericana? Ambericana. Well, my name's Amber, oh, so I just sort of spun it. You know, it's my cute. own instead of Americana. I don't know. That's adorable. <laughs> I love that. So uh, <laughs> you'll play a Ambericana tune for us. Ambericana tune, sure. Okay. That's so um, now you. You've been doing this for about 10 years, and did you do it pretty much out of uh, high school, or you went to college? You, you know, in college? I didn't even think about singing in public when I was in high school. Really? Like I, wasn't, I wasn't in the glee club or wow. in choir or any of that. I was wow. a complete drama nerd. Did someone, <laughs> were you getting messages, though, from people who heard you sing that, hey, you're not so half bad? Well, I was. I had my goals, my mindset on um, acting as a goal. So I moved uh -huh. to LA and I lived in Hollywood for a little bit and mm -hmm. tried to get an agent and went on auditions and it was really tough and sure. um, sort of started working for a prominent songwriter down there, Diane Warren. Oh, okay. And then was immersed in the music industry and thought, wow, this is really cool. And not only that, but my, my parents were musicians, so it was sort of in the blood already and my mom said, hey, you know, are you sure you're an actor? I think you were more of a musician. What do you think? And this was after <laughs> you were out of high school and, and, and into college. Yeah. yeah. So, the, so the story that you have to start when you're really young in order to succeed, not necessary. I mean, were, did you take music lessons? And well, I was lucky enough to have it always around me and yeah. had instruments around me. Uh -huh. my, my parents never forced it on me, but it was, so it was always fun. Sure. And, um, yeah, I took some piano lessons. I started with piano. Mm -hmm. My mother passed down her old guitar to me, so that was my first guitar that I took down to Hollywood when I went. And literally, I locked myself in my room every day and practiced because I didn't yeah. really know anybody. Yeah. You, didn't, you weren't <laughs> taking lessons. You just did it for, for fun? Yes, so and like, expression as a form of expression. And awesome. So uh, you started writing your music. And why don't we listen to a little bit if you're ready, and then we'll talk some more. Okay, great. Right, so what are you going to do for us? Well, this is a new song that I sort of reworked, um, and it's my summertime song. Okay. This is Amber Snyder.
Summertime song. This is 99.3 The Vine, 1440 KVON. And we're speaking with Amber. Amber, for so early in the morning, that was pretty amazing. Oh, I just you. want to tell everybody out there, well, you probably already know it, but it's not easy to sing early and in tune. So that means that Amber is pretty darn good. So, oh, thanks. Uh, thank My you. voice is still asleep, I, half asleep. You, know? yeah, you couldn't <laughs> tell. <laughs> so Amber, Napa girl, and you uh, had mentioned that July is Napa month. What is that all about? Well, for us, that means this year we've been playing shows all over the Bay Area, and mm -hmm. for some reason we have all these shows lined up in Napa this July, okay. so that's kind of great. So when are you going to appear and where? Um, well, okay, the next thing that we have coming up is Napa City Nights on July 8th, and that's 7 to 8 p.m. We, we have the middle slot mm -hmm. uh, as far as there's three bands every Friday. Um, so we have the second slot. And then on July 14th, Napa Chef's Market will be on the Randolph stage, 5.30 to 9. By the way, I hope that you'll stay right here with us because we're going to give away CDs to Amber. Uh, Napa City Nights performance last year. Yes, 2010. Yeah, so we have three, CD, three CDs to give away, and we'll be doing that in just a little bit. Now, um, thinking that you have information available, where can people uh, look you up and find out more about you? Oh, okay. AmberSnyder.com, and that's okay. S-N-I-D-E-R, mm -hmm. like spider, but Snyder. <laughs> and do you have a Facebook page? 
Yes, it's uh, well three. <laughs> and yeah, that's hard to maintain. Let me tell you. Um, well, we got one for me as a solo artist, Amber Snyder, and then one for the band, the Amber Snyder Band, and you can look us up that way. So you have a band. How long have you been together? Well, um, the guitar player and I, that's my husband actually, so we've been playing for about eight years now, um, and uh, his best friend is the bass player, so they've been playing a lot longer than that since so they were little kids. So he brought the bass guy along. Yeah, mm -hmm. which was nice that they So did you get a crush that. on him and then find out he was a musician or... Well, it all started at Starbucks, Aww, and it involved a really cute puppy Aww, that he had. And was that here in Napa? Yeah. <laughs> oh, see, a local girl. Uh, okay, so I had a couple of questions for you, Amber. So you've been performing, you said, about 10 years. Uh, professionally, yeah. Professionally. So what would be one of your favorite concerts um, that you could uh, tell us about? Um, I would have to say the Napa City Nights music series mm -hmm. is my favorite concert, and that's just because it's so beautiful and it's nice warm weather and everybody's laid out on the grass and having a good time with their puppy dogs and their kids running around and their picnics and I think it's just a magical moment uh, for me when everything's just right like time slows down almost you know. So <laughs> she's going to be at Napa City Nights again a couple of weeks now July the 8th. I'm up, yeah. It's free and it uh, so people should come on out and see Amber um, in person. And now do you have another song for us? Sure. Okay. Um, Amber's going to perform for us again, then I'm going to give you all a chance to win some CDs. Uh, what are you going to do for us now? Well, I'm going to do a song called Set in Stone. And, Set in Stone. Uh, yeah. It's a fun one, especially in the morning. <laughs> <laughs>
song, Set in Stone. I like that. <laughs> and uh, Amber, a Thanks. Napa girl, been around doing your music for about 10 years. And so uh, earlier I asked you one of your favorite performances. Now, what would you say is something surprising that's happened to you? That unexpected, funny, or serious, whatever, something that kind of stands out um, as you've been... Well, playing. last year at Napa City Nights, going back to that... <laughs> um, You're a fan. <laughs> yeah, I am. I love Napa City Nights. Well, I wore these leather pleather pants that I thought was a really good idea at mm -hmm. the time. Uh -oh. And they did last <laughs> until the end of the show, but as I was bending down to put my guitar in my case, they ripped right... Oh down the middle, so I'm, I'm glad oh, it, it happened oops. after, but no one really saw it. Yeah, oops. <laughs> <laughs> okay, kind of see, one of those behind the scene things, so yeah. nobody knew but nobody you. Nobody knew but me. Well, what about the band? Did they know? My husband knew, because well, okay. I was like, come stand behind me. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's okay. Um, Amber Snyder, and uh, so you have a couple of performances here in Napa. Yeah, and you know, I forgot to mention, um, mm -hmm. we're going to be at Downtown Joe's this yeah. month as well, I see July that. 30th. So you're going to be all over Napa July the 8th at Napa City Nights. This is our Napa month. Starts Napa at month. 7 o'clock Ju July the 14th, Thursday at the Napa Chef's Market. So that's, oh, that'll be fun. And mm -hmm. um, Saturday, July the 30th at Downtown Joe's. How do people generally find out about you guys? Well, I do a lot of, um, a lot of solo gigs as well. You know, mm -hmm. I do a lot of farmer's markets. In fact, this year I'm doing an official farmer's market tour, and I'm mm -hmm. pretty much oh, going okay. all over the place farmer's oh, markets-wise. Okay. Um, so I'm in Alameda, Danville, Walnut Creek, San Francisco. So are they all, like, connected, and if you get booked at one farmer's market, they kind of spread the word? The Pacific Coast Farmer's Market Association is what okay. puts it on, and yeah, I sort of started work, working for them three years ago okay. and um, they just keep giving me more and more and I can't say no, I That's love them. awesome. Because it's, er well, it's early in the morning, which sure. is, you know, it can be good or That's bad. True. But there's um, a lot but of Of course, this one is healthy. in the evening on Thursday, July the 14th. Oh yeah, these shows are, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm sorry, I was just speaking of farmer's markets are generally yeah, in the Yeah, because generally they are. Well, they are, because yeah. the one in St. Helena is like early. Yeah. So, so and it's you'll cool. get up early morning and go in out and sing. Yeah, and for four hours, too. Wow. I know, but I get to take my um, my proceeds and buy lots of fresh veggies. Saying, and there's a lot of organic Do my shopping at the same time, so. <laughs> and uh, again, if people want more information about you, how can they uh, how can they find out more? AmberSnyder.com, and I do have a mailing list there too. If people want to keep in touch, and then you know I send out um, our schedule, and if people want to come see a live show, that's great. We love live shows. We do uh, you know recording and all that stuff, and the funnest part is the, doing the live shows. So. Now, is there anything else you'd like to put out there? Yeah, we uh, start to wrap things up. Oh, um, I just, <laughs> everyone have a wonderful week. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, I sure. appreciate it. Be sure to check it out. She's going to appear at Napa City Nights, Friday, July the 8th. That's at downtown Napa at the Veterans Memorial Park. Also, Napa Chef's Market, July the 14th, and downtown Joe's, July the 30th. All right, so we have three CDs to give away, and we would love for the first three callers to win the, these CDs. That's all it's going to take is a phone call. You can give me a call right now at, uh, I'm going to get that number, I have it right here in front of me, 257-VINE. Let's see, the phones are lighting up already, Amber. They love Yay. you. 257-VINE, 257-8463, that's 257-VINE. First three callers gets the CD from Amber. Amber, thank you so much for coming on by. Thank you. And um, I'm sure we're going to see and hear a whole lot more about you in the next uh, few years. Awesome. Take All right. care. Thank you. And again, that was Amber Snyder. And if you want a CD, give me a call, 257-VINE, 257-8463. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see if I can do this right. <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, uh, hi. Hello. Can you hear me? Ah, oh. uh, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of new to this. All right, so we're <laughs> good. good. Isn't she? Do you know her? A midwife, a certified menopause clinician, and a medical esthetician. Join us Tuesday morning at 8.40 to learn how Dr. Marquez and the Singlina Women's Center can help you to live longer. All right, Kelly.